Next we're going to do palpation of the anterior elbow and again we're going to we can palpate uh, the biceps brachii muscle as well as the tendon down here by the elbow. Uh, we can also uh, right here in the center we have the cubital fossa and within the cubital fossa uh, we can also um, palpate the brachial artery with your fingers uh, not with your thumb. And then we also have our uh, median nerve, uh, just medial to that. And then we also have our musculocutaneous artery, uh, which is lateral to the uh, uh, biceps brachii tendon over on this side. Uh, and then we also have our uh, wrist flexors uh, over a group that we can palpate on the medial side and those attach uh, to the uh, medial epicondyle on the medial side. Okay, next we're going to take a look at some of the muscles that attach uh, here to the uh, forearm and by uh, placing the thumb, the thunder eminence across the, the medial epicondyle, uh, kind of going at diagonally across the, uh, the elbow. And then we have our index finger and then our other three fingers. Uh, right here at the thumb we have our uh, pronator teres and then uh, here at our index finger uh, going down is our uh, flexor carpi radialis. Uh, then here in, in the middle finger going down we have our pul pulmaris longus uh, and then our uh, ring finger we have as our flexor carpi by ulnaris uh, going down here to the ulnar side of the, the wrist. So we're going to be palpating the structures on the medial side of the elbow. Um, here on the first, the most medial aspect of the elbow is going to be your uh, medial epicondyle uh, where you can have fractures or uh, epicondylitis. Um, and then also there along the joint line is going to be your ulnar collateral lig ligament or it can also be called your uh, medial collateral ligament uh, which can be uh, sprained. Uh, then we, uh, uh, if you need to, uh, you can flex the elbow a little bit uh, to make it a little lax. You might be able to palpate that uh, ligament a little bit easier. And then also on the, uh, down the forearm we also have our ulnar bone which, which we can uh, palpate. Uh, for, for any fractures. And then over here on the lateral side, um, like the medial side, we have a lateral epicondyle, um, on the, which is the most lateral part, and that uh, can be palpated. That can uh, have a lateral epicondylitis, or uh, it could also be uh, fractured. Uh, and then we also have our uh, radial collateral ligament, which again you may need to uh, flex the elbow a little bit um, to palpate that. And it could be the radial collateral or the uh, lateral collateral ligament, um, and, that, and that can be sprained. And then uh, uh, just below that we have our, um, our radial head, okay, and we may need to uh, uh, pronate and supinate the hand to find the, the radial head. Um, and just below that, uh, right, covering the radial head and the, the, the neck of the, the radius is going to be your uh, annular ligament, uh, which crosses over that. Uh, and then just um, proximal to your radial head is going to be your um, capidulum on the, the uh, humerus. Um, and then we also have uh, some soft tissue attaching to the lateral epicondyle. We're going to have our uh, wrist extensor groups um, in this area that we can uh, palpate. Uh, then we also have our um, uh, brachioradialis uh, muscle that we can palpate. If we have the person uh, go with their thumb up, um, supporting her elbow and she's going to be uh, resisting you against uh, elbow flexion that should make your uh, brachial radialis a little bit more uh, palpable there on the uh, lateral side of the elbow. Next we're going to palpate the uh, posterior landmarks of the elbow 
For this position, you may need to have her stand or, or, or sit. And what I'm going to do is I'm kind of, rather than having her uh, an elbow extended, I'm going to bring her back into a little bit of hyperextension of the shoulder as, and then flexion at the uh, elbow so that it, it relaxes some of her muscles so I'm able to uh, palpate again the humerus if I needed to up here if I hadn't done that already and then I can also do the uh, triceps muscle um, there in the back and then also uh, the bony landmark right here is your uh, olecranon process which again uh, could possibly uh, be fractured and uh, also, uh, over, right over that, you have a, a lecranon bursa, which could be inflamed for uh, bursitis, uh, which you can palpate. Um, and then a lecranon fossa, uh, which is um, just above there, um, where the lecranon process um, rolls into the um, lecranon fossa. And then um, also posteriorly, uh, on the uh, medial side, uh, we have the ulnar nerve, which runs right along the, the groove. Okay, so we want to palpate that carefully uh, for uh, ulnar nerve contusions. Um, and then we also have our uh, anconius muscle, which is um, here between the uh, lateral epicondyle and the lecranon process. So that can be uh, palpated over here. And then uh, another thing that we can palpate posteriorly is the uh, radial tunnel, um, which is uh, down here. It's a posterior uh, forearm. Uh, and that is um, just uh, anterior to the uh, radial humeral joint. And that's it for our posterior structure.